Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of um, Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at the Humongous Unique Axe. Now the Humongous Unique Axe has a, a, a fairly awesome looking graphic in my opinion. It's really quite cool. And um, it also has that really like dark sort of uh, black steel blade which is, uh, which is pretty sweet. It is also uh, home to one of the very few items in the game that actually increase requirements on an item instead of decreasing them um, which is uh, which is quite funny um, it is a level 29 axe and, uh, and it needs to be judged based on those characteristics and as we go over it we'll talk about that so we have a 56 to 124 uh, damage on this particular axe which is uh, which is not like absolutely awful uh, for level 29 we have a 84 strength requirement which is higher than the strength requirement on the giant axe which is only uh, I think it's like 70, uh, due to that 20% increase to requirements. We have bonus of 8 to 25 damage, which is added to the attack weapon. And then we have a 33% chance of crushing blow, which will do 25% damage to the monster's current HP, um, and 12.5% to bosses. The uh, plus 30 strength on this is kind of almost like mocking, since it is also requiring you to have more strength to put it on. Uh, but that strength can actually come in handy to actually utilize armor, uh, which would be nice. Um, around this particular level, you might be looking at an ancient armor or something along those lines, which does have about a 100 strength requirement. So if you had 84 strength plus this particular weapon, you could probably utilize that. Now, uh, this particular weapon does seem to be targeted mainly around people who are just leaving normal difficulty um, and entering into Nightmare. And um, it can be upgraded if you would like, but um, I'm not sure you want to. Now, we also have the ethereal version of this, which is 80 to 172, and um, has the 10 less strength requirement of 74 uh, with the same level requirement of 29. Um, this particular weapon... Um, does have a variance on the enhanced damage, which I'm not sure if I said, of 80 to 120%. So you will find these a little bit less uh, damage than what mine is stated. And um, the top end of the adds damage varies as well. So it's very odd. The bottom end of 8 does not vary, but the top end of 25 does vary from 15 to 25. Um, so uh, quite a bit of a uh, variance in the actual damage of this weapon. You're going to find it in some some odd amounts. Um, we're looking at anywhere from I want to say 47 to about 56. If I'm I'm just running the numbers in my head, so about 47 to 56 on the bottom end, and we're talking about like 96 to 124 on the top end. Um, is what the variance is going to be. And and I believe the ethereal version is uh, is going to function pretty similarly, um, just, uh, just not quite. Now, we can upgrade this um, by using um, some, some runes. It is a normal difficulty item, so the runes to upgrade the normal difficulty version are actually pretty easy to come by. Um, the Ral and the Soul and a Perfect Emerald. Um, so we're going to grab two sets of Ral and Souls, and we're going to upgrade this. Why not? So uh, let's upgrade this to the Nightmare version, and let's see what we got. So we're going to start with uh, 56 to 124, 84 strength, level 29, to 102 to 212, uh, 150 strength requirement, and level 34. And as you can see, it changed its graphics to the Minotaur graphics, um, although it did not actually turn into a Minotaur axe. Um, now the damage upgrade on that wasn't too great, but the... Um, strength requirement upgrade was rather huge to 150. That's pretty high for a level 34 item, um, and there's a very good chance you're not going to be able to wield that. Um, now let's take a look at the ethereal version, which is going to go from 80 to 172, 74 strength, level 29, to 148 to 304, uh, 140 strength requirement, and 34 level. Not really sure that was a great upgrade. Um, I feel like that strength requirement is just absolutely massive, and there's a very good chance you're not going to be able to actually wield it. Um, let's upgrade it one more time, though, because uh, that's what I love to do on these videos. So we're going to need um, Lum, Paul. Uh, we're going to need two sets of Lums and Pauls, and it looks like I am running low on Lums and Pauls. Look at me running low on Lums and Pauls. Oh, wait, there's a Lum. Do I have a lum? Do I have a pole? 
Do I have a Paul? A Paul? Oh, there's a Paul. All right, we've got just enough for one more upgrade. I'll have to go restock after this. So let's take the uh, non-ethereal version and throw it in here. Uh, it's going to go from 102 to 112 to 150 strength third level 34 to 140 to 297 um, 66 dexterity, 196 strength, and level 78. Um, that is a pretty high upgrade in the strength requirement. Uh, 196 is a lot. Um, you probably would not be able to use this on any character that is not like a barbarian or a paladin running really high strength. And um, the damage did not go up enough that I feel like that was really worth it. Um, it did turn back into the original graphic, though, which is interesting. Uh, it seems like only the Nightmare versions have those special graphics. Uh, we also have a relatively slow attack speed on this item, and unfortunately, I think the damage combined with the slow attack speed uh, really make this not really worth it, especially when you compare it to another item, which is very similar, um, the Minotaur Axe, for instance, uh, which has 200 to 402 at the same level, basically, and um, with less requirements, which makes the Minotaur the superior choice, considering they both have Crushing Blow, um, and the Minotaur has some better stats as well. But let's take a look at the Ethereal version, and we'll compare the Ethereal versions, um, Ethereal version Minotaur versus the real Minotaur, right? So, uh, so we'll upgrade this one. And uh, we've got 148 to 304. Uh, 140 strength requirement and level 34 to now 206 to 434, 434 uh, 56 dexterity, 186 strength and level 78. Um, unfortunately, it, it really pales in comparison to the Minotaur in the same category. Uh, they're both slow weapons. They both have um, ethereal versions here. Uh, they both have crushing blow, but I feel like the Minotaur Axe is uh, winning in just about every single category that it can possibly win in over the Humongous, um, including the stats that are required to wield it. Um, so if you were to think about upgrading this to the third tier, I would probably not. Bink! Um, if you're looking to find the Humongous Axe uh, for whatever reason, uh, I suppose you could uh, try it and see if you could locate it. Um, let's go over to Silos Pen and we'll play around with that, shall we? So I like to bring up the uh, Silos Pen calculator. I'm trying to actually incorporate this into the videos and, uh, and we'll go over here and we'll take a look together. So here is the uh, Silos Pen calculator and we're going to look up the Humongous Axe uh, in case you want to find this particular item. And um, there it is right there. Boop. And I passed right by it like a poopy head. All right, so we're going to look in all difficulty settings and we're going to pretend we have about 150% magic find and we're going to hit find. And then we're going to sort by probability. And it looks like to me in normal difficulty, uh, pretty much out all of Act 5 in normal difficulty has a pretty high chance, um, as well as, um, as you can see here, early level in uh, Nightmare Difficulty. Jail is uh, Act 1, Inner Cloisters, Act 1, Tower Cellar, well, yeah, those are all Act 1. So it looks like Act 5 and Act 1, Act, Act 5 Normal and Act fi 1 Nightmare Difficulty. Uh, let's take a look at the bosses real quick. Uh, so it looks like Diablo as a quest is the highest percent chance at 1 in 175 uh, in normal difficulty. Uh, we also have non-quest. Diablo is a very high in normal difficulty. For some reason, Mephisto in Hell has a very high pro probability there. Hmm. I feel like it, if you were specifically going to use this item, you would probably want to use it in normal difficulty. So let's look at normal. So Bale, Diablo, Neolithac, and the Defilers in Normal Difficulty all have a pretty uh, good chance of dropping this item. Uh, and let's take a look at Super Enix. So the Cow King in Nightmare, the Cow King in Hell. Uh, Neolithac in Normal has a pretty good chance. So when you go kill Neolithac, that's actually not bad. Uh, but it looks like Nightmare Cows is one of the best places to farm for this. Because uh, Cow King has a 1 in 674 chance there. Um, and he's relatively easy to get to and to kill. But as you can see, just about all of the super uniques, Rock and Ishu, Treehead Woodfish, Radiment, Summoner, Corpse Fire, Cold Crow, Bishy Bosch, Bone Breaker, all these guys have a pretty good chance, and each one of them in various difficulties. Um, as you can see, even Pindle Skin in normal difficulty 
um, has a chance to drop this at 1 in 3,232. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, and uh, I hope you have a humongous day, <laughs> and uh, as always, keep watching.